There are lots of different types of paradox, but what are they, and how do they make fools of our perception of reality? Let's find out. In actuality, all paradoxes are variations on the same general theme. It's something that at first seems contradictory or impossible to reconcile. Often though, it's just the way that they've been presented that gives them this appearance of contrariness. Typically, paradoxes are statements, but as we'll see in this video, they can also be visual, and the shepherd note, which we'll look at, is even an auditory paradox. Within the definition of paradox, there are lots and lots of subgroups, and I'll look at a few examples now. Some paradoxes are logical. The ship of Theseus is a good example of this. Another way of stating this that will be more familiar to British people is that of Trigger's Broom. The ship of Theseus's paradox imagines that the ship sailed by the great hero Theseus is left in the harbour after he returns as a memorial to his great deeds. Gradually over time, the parts of the ship become worn and are replaced by new parts. After a hundred years when all the parts have been replaced, is the ship now standing in the harbour still the ship of Theseus? And if not, at what point did it stop being the ship of Theseus? Some paradoxes are mathematical or number based. An example of this is the rich guest paradox. In this paradox, imagine a small, very poor town where everyone is in debt and very gloomy. There's a hotel in the town, but as they haven't been doing much business recently, they're threatened with closure. One day a rich American guest turns up wanting to stay at the hotel. Unsure about whether the hotel is suitable or not, they ask first for a tour. The hotel owner agrees, but first asks that the prospective guest pays a security deposit, which the guest can take back if they don't like the hotel. The hotel owner realises that the money for the security deposit is the exact amount needed to pay the chef who hasn't been paid for three months. The chef takes the money and realises that this is the exact amount of money that they owe to the grocer for the last three months worth of groceries that have remained unpaid for all this time. The grocer taking the money realises that this is the exact same amount needed to pay the doctor who cured his arthritis but hasn't been paid yet. The doctor realises that money is exactly the amount needed to pay the nurse that hasn't been paid for the last two months. The nurse has been staying in the hotel until they can find somewhere permanent and since they haven't been paid they haven't been able to pay for the hotel room and they realise that the money that they've been paid is exactly the right amount that they need. The rich guest decides in the end that they don't want to stay at the hotel after all and take back their deposit and leaves. The money ended up exactly where it started, but now everyone has paid off their debts. There are also some paradoxes in physics, such as the famous Schrödinger's cat thought experiment. It was devised by Erwin Schrödinger to illustrate the absurdity of the view of quantum mechanics at the time. In the thought experiment, a cat is locked in a steel box with a radioactive atom. At any point in time, that atom might have decayed or not. If the radioactive atom decays, then this will be detected by a Geiger counter, which is linked to a hammer. The hammer will then break a vial of hydrogen cyanide, and this will kill the cat. If the cat is locked in the box and we can't see inside, we don't know if the atom has decayed or not. The cat can then be viewed as being both alive and dead, and we won't know the exact state of the cat until we open the box and have a look inside. Some paradoxes are philosophical, such as the omnipotence paradox. This asks the question that if an omnipotent being can do anything, then can they make a rock that's too heavy for them to lift? If the answer is yes they can, then they're not omnipotent because they can't lift the rock they just created. If the answer is no they can't, then they're not omnipotent because they can't create such a rock. There are even paradoxes in biology. For instance, the French paradox. This is the apparently paradoxical observation that French people have a relatively low rate of coronary heart disease, even though they eat relatively high levels of saturated fat, known to be one of the major causes of heart disease. This apparent paradox suggests a number of possible conclusions. Firstly, it could be that the assumption about saturated fat and heart disease is incorrect. Alternatively, there could be some other factor in the French diet, or indeed the French lifestyle as a whole, that mitigates the effects of the high saturated fat diet. 
It could even be due to the way that the French government collects their statistics on heart disease that masks the true extent of such coronary diseases in the French population. Each of these possibilities has come under significant scrutiny, although a specific answer to this paradox is yet to be found. Many optical illusions are paradoxical in nature, such as the Penrose Triangle. This is a seemingly impossible triangle as shown here. However, if we look at it from different angles, we can see that this is an illusion of perception. Many of the pieces of artwork produced by M.C. Escher were paradoxical in nature. There are even auditory paradoxes, such as the shepherd note. This is a tone that appears to fall in pitch, whilst not actually falling in pitch. As a result, it can get lower and lower and lower in pitch forever. I'm going to actually play out with the shepherd tone, with thanks to Glaumouth One, who actually produced the tone I'll be using. So for now, that's all. I hope you've been enticed by the mind-altering nature of paradoxes, and I hope you'll join me when I take a look at some paradoxes in a little more detail. Thank you for watching.